What's up, everybody? So I'm here in Iowa, outside of Des Moines. It is freaking cold. <laughs> but I, I like learning. I'm always learning something new. I need to cut my hair, trim my hair. But um. Because of what I do for a living and all the talk about driverless vehicles, I'm always paying attention to AI. And I've been digging into AI. And I came across, I, I've come to realize that pretty much anywhere you look in AI, it's always there in the undertone, but it's not talked about very much. But the more and more you look into it, the more and more you realize my job is actually hard to replace with AI. It's easier to replace a taxi driver than me. But the shocking thing is the jobs we as the general public are perceiving to be lost to AI or going to be lost to AI, AI is completely wrong. The average blue collar worker outside of retail is actually hard to replace. You know, as far as um, manufacturing, most of the jobs that can be replaced in manufacturing have already already been replaced. It's actually easier for AI. The jobs it's going to replace is actually quite shocking. For example, anybody who works in analysis, whether it's laboratory analysis, which are your doctors, legal analysis which are your basic PAs and your your secretaries not so much police when it comes to arresting people and investigating but a large number of police officers when it comes to just your average patrol officer and street beat officer they're going to be replaced by AI judges not all judges but the vast majority of judges can be replaced by AI such as um, family court judges very easy to replace by AI criminal judges are a little bit harder but family court judges that's easy they're, they're really very easy to replace with AI. It's easier to replace them than me with AI. Um, with the exception of a handful of situations, most business law and tax law judges replace with AI. Ironically, most lawyers can be replaced with AI easier than me. They All these jobs are easier to replace than me as a truck driver. And it's all there. It's all out there in the public domain. The thing is, it's always kind of buried. It's not the thing that they're talking about. But the more and more you pay attention to what they're talking about that AI can do, the more and more you realize... It's not the average blue collar worker. Jeff Bezos can be replaced by AI easier than me. Elon Musk can be replaced by AI easier than me. Right now. Most politicians can be replaced by AI easier than me. Right now. Most government employees can be replaced by AI right now easier than me. Ironically, 
even the people developing the AI. As far as the blueprinting, those people are kind of hard to replace because of human imagination. Innovation is driven by human imagination. That is the one thing that differentiates us from any other species on the planet. Because we can integrate imagination and philosophy and literature and, you know, all these different things. So when it comes to actually blueprinting, we're kind of hard to replace. When it comes to art, we're kind of hard to replace. When it comes to music, it's not as difficult to replace as an actual artist, but it's still, it's kind of hard to replace. Same with photography, that's kind of hard to replace because even though AI can take millions upon millions of random pictures and find a piece of art in those millions and millions of pictures, there's a lot of wasted effort into making that, whereas someone, you know, even even a novice like myself, I can actually get more artistic pictures than the AI on a larger level, percentage-wise. But almost any white-collar job can be replaced by AI. Stockbrokers, even in the trucking industry, it's easier to replace the dispatchers, HR, human resources, most of your management team, and even the uh, load brokers themselves than it is to get rid of the truck driver. I mean, in reality, While the truck driver is, you know, eventually we can be replaced. There's a lot of jobs that, you know, really, like, like miners. They're, you know, it's easier to replace me than them. Not so much open pit mining, maybe, but actual underground mining. You know, what we think of as a traditional miner true, you know, the original American heroes outside of our armed forces. They're extremely difficult to replace. A lot of people in manufacturing, like an auto mechanic, is extremely difficult to replace. It's probably easier to replace somebody in body work than the auto mechanic the painter the auto painter when it comes to just a basic paint job not maybe not so much something artistic although that's the next step but when it comes to auto body the painter they're easy to replace when it comes to the airbrushing with custom paint jobs where you got the murals and things that's the next step they're a little bit harder to replace, but they can be replaced. When it comes to upholstery, as far as removing the upholstery from the car, you know, dismantling the whole interior, it's easier for a human to do that than AI. But when it comes to reupholstering those pieces after they're out of the car, it's easier for AI to do that than the human. So it's all these, ironically, with the exception of like a, um, like your retail, your cashiers, they're easy to replace. Even in Walmart right now. Self-checkout, that's 
that's just the that's the reason they have that is because it's just cheaper. They're learning how the system is working. When you're using the self checkout, you're teaching them how the system is actually working. So you're actually part of Walmart's R and D program. But the reality is, the normal with the conveyor. It's getting to the point where once the R&D gets it all figured out, they don't need cashiers anymore. You lay your stuff on the conveyor, it's going to go past the conveyor, it's going to go down to the end, you're going to put your stuff in the bags, and you're going to check out with your debit card or cash or credit card or gift card or whatever. So cashiers are just as easy to replace as the judge. Right now, it's actually easier to replace a lot of judges than it is the cashier. Like I said, like family law, with except with a very few exceptions, in most cases, family law lawyers are extremely easy to replace. They're one of the easiest to replace. Anyone in the legal, anything legal, outside of criminal. Criminal, there's a different element there, but most judges and lawyers and anyone with any kind of basic analytic legal they're easy to replace like family law most of the time in family law it's numbers for example child support alimony things like that that's a simple numeric procedure they're easy to replace. They're actually easier to replace than the cashier. The exception to that is some place where it's a more of a takeout fast food restaurant. You know, not so much a sit and dine, but like McDonald's and Burger King. Those cashiers are actually easier to replace than judges in that end. Because the technology is already there. You go up, touch screen, make your order, boom. The thing is, the one thing they've come to realize, and it's why they're not replacing a lot of these jobs right away. For one, they're not going after the jobs in the legal sector because they know, even though they can replace them today, right now, this afternoon, they can go in and they can replace three quarters of the judges in the United States, right now. Maybe two thirds. Two thirds to three quarters of the judges, right now, they could replace in the United States. Right now, over half of the service industry jobs they can replace right now this afternoon even in law enforcement by simply implementing existing technology the average street cop and patrol officer can be replaced if the if they had the infrastructure in place could be replaced this afternoon but all the infrastructure all the technology exists they just haven't deployed it and i think the reason why they're going after jobs first like truck drivers is because they realize what an economic for one the economic impact Because the problem is, without jobs, there's no economy. The other side of that coin, though, is once you go after the lawyers and the politicians and the judges, now all of a sudden nobody's going to want AI anymore. Now all of a sudden, all Jeff Bezos and Elon Musk, all them kind of people that can be replaced with AI this afternoon... This afternoon, we're not talking 
years from now. We're talking this afternoon. They could be replaced. Once you start going after those kind of people, then all of a sudden, AI is going to become a bad idea. But when you actually study AI, they're replaceable today. And it's amazing. And it really makes you realize... It's not the... It's not the consequences of technology that is so devious. But once you come to realize what can be done and it's not being done, and once you give it some thought and you realize why it's not being done, you come to realize how devious and misleading most technology companies are because they're intentionally not going after the jobs that are easy to replace they do it in little bites here and there to make it look like making your job easier like they've done things to make the jobs easier for the secretaries but the reality is they can replace the secretary this afternoon the average clerk they could replace this afternoon. The average bookkeeper they could replace this afternoon. I mean, the average... The average legal firm... That's a scanner. With modern AI, I could pretty much replace every single person in the average legal firm because all I got to do is scan the documents to that. AI runs through the documents, comes up with the output, and can actually, when it's something where I got to make an offer, can say, yeah, this here is, or, or it could say whether or not it's worth my while to move a business from California to Florida or to to Texas or to Chicago that right there combined with AI can replace a whole legal firm a whole legal firm completely that's where we are at AI today and ironically they can all be replaced easier than me So while they're talking about replacing the trucking, about bringing AI into the trucking industry and replacing the truck driver, the irony is the truck driver is the hardest one to replace. They can replace a forklift driver easier than they can replace me because of a lot of things that are involved. And like I said, pretty much anybody clerical in the trucking industry, they could be replaced right now, this afternoon. Which makes one wonder. Like I said, I have my theory on it. It's not so much a conspiracy theory either. It's just basic common sense from a business standpoint. For those that, you know, haven't given it thought, you really should. As far advanced as AI is, and with all the things that we know, once you just look into it just a little bit, that AI can replace. Why are they talking about replacing people like truck drivers? When we could save billions of dollars in taxpayer money with all the people we could replace this afternoon with AI. 